I think the, the real benefit of the interfaith dialogue, um, at, especially at the, at the congregational level or at the, at the church level, is that it helps provide an opportunity f for those within faith communities to see how much they actually share together and have in common. But it also illustrates the things that are that their differences. While I do hold strongly to certain things within my own faith, I recognize that there could be shortcomings there and that there's, um, there's holes in my understanding. And if I don't see the differences, then it doesn't help me really, really recognize, I would say, the, uh, theologically, the fullness of, of the nature of who God is. One of the ways we learn is by contrast. And um, it's the way the university teaches us. We, we learn to say what this is like and what it's not like. We always get test questions, compare and contrast. And if we are not encountering differences, one could argue that we are not learning as fast. The differences is where we actually sharpen our own uh, understanding and also receive from the others something we may not have had before. While it's fine to disagree on certain matters, uh, to do that with, with respect and with love and with charity, uh, recognizing that uh, we're all human and we're all uh, working toward particular many common kinds of goals but often our divisions and our disagreements separate us and um, so what does it mean for us to be uh, uh, of one faith and um, share that expression throughout um, our communities by which we live and serve.